Macs are powerful machines as they are, and they come with a lot of great apps out of the box. However, third-party apps can improve your experience on a Mac. Hi, I am Akshay from Vivaum.com, and today I'll be talking about the 10 apps that you must have on your Mac. When I say must have, I mean must have, because believe me, these apps will make your life easier and make you love your Mac more than you already do. So without further ado, let's get going. First in our list is a cool app called Adapter. It allows users to convert images, videos, and even audio files between multiple formats, and it really does support a lot of formats. Best of all though is that Adapter is free and comes in handy in a lot of situations. Moving on to the second app, bet you guys must have heard of this one, the VLC Media Player. If you watch videos on a laptop, and let's face it, who doesn't, VLC is one of the best video players out there. It supports a lot of file formats and even x265 encoded videos that Apple's QuickTime Player does not. VLC is also a free app which makes it an even sweeter deal. That's why all your girlfriends were so much bling, huh? Up next at the third position is Todoist. Now this is a great app for creating and managing to-do lists on your Mac. It is also available for iOS and Android, so your to-do lists will remain synced across all your devices. It offers categorization features as well. Todoist is also available free of cost, but the premium version has a lot more features. Next up on the list is Air Server. iOS and Mac devices have the capability to mirror their screens to an Apple TV by using AirPlay. But not everyone wants or needs an Apple TV. Air Server lets your iOS devices stream AirPlay content to your Mac. It's really cool and you can enjoy your favorite games on a bigger screen or watch movies directly from your iPhone to your Mac. You can even stream music. Air Server is a paid app, but they do give out a 7-day free trial. Moving on to the next one, Flux. The app works by removing the blue light from your screen when it gets dark outside. This helps in reducing the strain on your eyes when you're working late at nights. You can even disable Flux for specific time spans or even disable it on a per app basis so you don't have to watch videos or edit images without the proper colors. Flux is free as well and is open source. I would definitely recommend that you give it a try. The sixth app in the list is Spectacle. If there is one feature that has been missing from macOS for so long, it has almost become a bane for people who switch over from Windows, it's window management features such as snapping windows to corners. Well, Spectacle is here to take care of all that for you. Spectacle is another free open source app that allows users to use keyboard shortcuts to arrange windows wherever they want. It can also help in moving windows from one screen to another in a multi-monitor setup. The app runs in the background, stays in the menu bar and works flawlessly. If you miss window snapping as much as I did, make sure you try out Spectacle. Alternatively, you can try out Better Snap Tool as a paid option with extra features. Mac ID, the seventh app on the list, is an app that uses your iPhone's Bluetooth signal to keep track of how far you are from your Mac and automatically locks and unlocks your Mac based on this information. It uses Touch ID for authentication and works very well. Mac ID is a paid app, but it's well worth the price for the features and convenience it offers. The next app on my list is called App Cleaner. This app makes the process of removing apps from your Mac a whole lot easier. You're probably wondering, why not use the simple drag and drop to trash method to remove apps? Well, some apps have a lot of supporting files that are saved in different locations on your Mac, such that even when you delete the app, these files remain and use up space on your device. App Cleaner solves all that. It deletes an app completely from your system, including any support files that it might be leaving behind. It's a godsend if, like me, you try out a lot of apps and uninstall them if you don't like what they offer. Moving on from your app removal woes, there's an app called A-Text, which allows users to assign keyboard shortcuts to autofill larger pieces of text. For example, I can assign the shortcut BB to expand bbomb.com. A-Text can also be used to assign shortcuts to run Apple scripts or shell scripts, which is really very cool. A-Text is free for a trial period, after which you'll have to buy a license to continue using it. Last but not the least comes Infinite. Infinite is a really great app that allows users to send large files to other users, even if the receiver does not use Infinite. The app has a free plan which has a maximum file size limit of 10 GB, which in itself is pretty large. However, for $8.5 a month, you can upgrade to the professional plan with no file size limit. 
Infinite is really great, especially if like me, you constantly have to send files larger than that meager 30 megabyte limit on emails. So those were the 10 Mac apps that you should have. I leave a link to each one of them in the description below. We'll be coming back with more cool tips, tricks and how-tos, so get subscribed to our channel if you aren't already. Also, if you like this video, please hit that like button, it really helps to keep us going. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.